Pole, pole, pole. What does that mean? Pole, pole. It means um, slowly. Uh, pole, pole. Let me Google that. Pole uh, pole. We can we can do that. But pole pole means take it easy. Uh, take it easy. Pole pole. Uh, slowly. Pole pole slowly. So I wanted to say something about slowly. And uh, this is a circle uh, argument. I have to uh, I have to admit this is a circular uh, argument of mine because I tend to go back to this kind of uh, circling um, topics that um, I try to find out in what way I can be happy of doing nothing. That is, um, that is, that would be very nice to be happy to do nothing. Who, who would be happy of doing nothing? And yet it is um, written in the Bible, go to the ant, you lazy, uh, and be wise. Let me have a look at that. Uh, no. It is not um, uh, it is not really uh, mentioned like that. It is see its uh, ways and be wise. So uh, I don't mean to to value to be lazy, but if you have this crazy drive to you that you really can't rest, you don't really know how to calm down because today it is a stressful uh, situation. We live a stressful uh, uh, world, and uh, and I think that is very predominant. Uh, it is very predominant in order for people to. Because it is not healthy either to be uh, idle, not doing anything. If you want to have some vacation, you don't stop and do nothing. You have to do something. But uh, that way, if you are happy with what you are doing, whenever you are doing it, uh, it can be a... Uh, boost of energy but 
in my case, maybe it's only the lack of sleep I need. Uh, I don't need the lack of sleep, but I need sleep enough in order to wake up and be satisfied with the amount of time I've slept. Because sometimes you feel exhausted after sleeping. Uh, that can happen, and that happens very often with me. Um, as you can see in my background, you have this uh, flag of Israel. And uh, it is this kind of harmonious, um, uh, I should have put it the other way. But since it's hanging there, on the big buildings in Israel, you have uh, rolled down the flag of Israel. <laughs> and it is pretty nice, you don't put it this way, it uh, on the big building. Uh, and uh, this is a sign of... Um, of, uh, we are raised, and uh, the star uh, between the rivers is from the river to the sea, and uh, within that uh, kind of a border, it is um, the harmonious star, six-edged star that gives some kind of a harmonious, and they say. That every letter in the Hebrew alphabet is presented in this star. <laughs> and that is kind of amazing. And my daughter did this amazing uh, picture of mine. Uh, now she has to give it away. And uh, it's still for sale because I think that this will serve uh, as a good as you can see in the upper picture, you have some face uh, into it, um, looking deep into the void. And the lady there is uh, just so gracious. So I sell both of them uh, together if you want. Uh, so back to the nothingness and uh, slowly, pole pole. This is a Swahili word for taking it uh, slowly. And today it's much needed to take it slowly. Take it easy. Take it slowly. You see the demands that people have today. Demands that they feel is hanging over as a axe, as a sword, as a, as a boss that is hammering on your back, can't let you go. The amount of uh, deeds you have to do in order to fulfill your uh, needs, uh, your children's needs and, and so much more that you can uh, mention in this uh, part of the video. You can do it, I can't do it, because I'm not putting myself in your shoes this time around. I shouldn't be the one that can take people's suffering, people's uh, stressful life. I'm, I'm struggling with the polar opposite. How can I get, despite my large free time. How can I be at peace with myself? And there is many verses in uh, the Bible that are talking about peace of mind, inner peace. And Jesus also said that the peace that I have and can offer you is not of this world. This world can't give you this peace. So I think the main task in a human life from uh, entering this, uh, this sphere 
of uh, situations, demandings and all the rest. We tell our children that what you are going to meet in life is so hard, so demanding. So we, we stop giving them trust in order for them to succeed. But what I want to say to my children, pole pole, give it to a pole pole. You will soon enough have all the stress over you. Soon enough you will know what your task in this world is, in your life is. And I think if you can find it, if you can find the values of yours, you will uh, have some peace. I think what Jesus offered was his values. Jews are talking about loving the Torah. And I want to consent to that. It is a great uh, approach to the human psyche, the human mind. That you have some values that you are upholding. What kind of values is that? It's as if nothing has happened. Yet you can say, thank you for this precious day. That you find something within everything that you value. Uh, people like me, we are often here and there and we are struggling with our identity. I think some of us is there because we grew up lack of conf uh, confirmations. Always being uh, deemed wrong. Always try to be silenced. How can you how can you deal with that kind of that kind of behavior from other people? Maybe your closest who you are related to in the closest way. How can you how can you deal with that? When they always give you the comment. And this is either wrong, not right, or <laughs> you shouldn't do it. <laughs> everything, everything you do, that is their obligatory answer or reply or response. Whatever you do, you shouldn't do. How can you grow up figuring? How to find confidence in yourself, having that kind of a background. <clears throat> you will struggle for a whole lot of time if you have undergone such uh, behaviors, such attitudes. But uh, the pictures I'm uh, looking at in my background, it is so beautiful to have. And uh, it can make my day. You know, Carolina and Maria and all the rest and Stina, they are making my day. Every day. I pray for them. And obviously I love them. And that is something of a great thing for an old man to have in his life. What more can an old man like me ask for? <laughs> ask for when, 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 when everything is going to hell, <laughs> when, when everything is going wrong, <laughs> when, 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 <laughs> what, what can we? What can we say? 
when everything is going wrong, <laughs> we, 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 we have only our children left. <laughs> uh, uh, so, <clears throat> not to joke about that. It is, uh, it's, but it is tragic uh, comedy. <laughs> it, is, it is this tragic comedy that um, may have been needed in our, in our lives. <laughs> <clears throat> we have to be some kind of ironic. We have to be accepting that even even things that you are trying to achieve doesn't go well. <laughs> you should be just happy, uh, no worry, and um, <clears throat> as long <laughs> as, as long as you can. <laughs> <laughs> be happy about life happy about the things in life <laughs> that you can cherish that you can uh, uphold as a value value is not only the serious things you have to be uh, the value of uh, laughter It is portrayed in a bad way when uh, the angel uh, came to Abraham and told that uh, within the year he will be with a son. Sarah, Sarai will be with a son. And <laughs> Sarah laughed. <laughs> and I think Isaac, Isaac or whatever they call it, it, it is laughter. I think it is, um, it is named by this laughter, promised son. The promises you can give to a child is, um, <laughs> you see, the funniest thing we, we like is when we can see, hear our children laugh. I, I stood over my daughter, I, I think it was Carolina, and I, it is uh, so way back when she was a um, baby, maybe half a year or so, and, uh, and I stood over her and she laughed in her sleep. She laughed. And uh, she had this kind of joy in her uh, spirit. The spirit of joy, she have that, and um, uh, it is this value of laughter that people doesn't really get. Today I went to the to the store to the town. In the store, I I recognized that my uh, rice rolls didn't. Uh, not appeared yet, so I was saying that here we have to we have to protect this um, this shop because it is the best. I looked at the customers and they didn't look back. <laughs> Everything was awkward, and uh, the the um, the, um, the service lady she laughed, she got it, and uh, despite if we don't get. Um, if we got, don't get um, food here, we want uh, this store to, st to stay. Let it never be uh, removed. So even, even despite <laughs> everything is gone, <laughs> we want the store. <laughs> it is the most important thing that the store, the name of the store is Lilla Hai. And uh, it is this Asian... Um, um, uh, Asian um, food store that uh, they have everything and uh, now I miss out these ri rice rolls that you have seen me eating and I miss it so much I will cry the day they tell me that you can't you can never get it uh, back again I have to make my own rice rolls rolls rice <laughs> rolls rice <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the value of laughter. 
I remember, well, I, when I was laughing back when I was a little boy, I found things so funny, hilarious uh, funny, that I couldn't stop myself from laughing. And uh, whatever I saw, I found very funny. But I was uh, tried. They tried to shut me up. But I couldn't stop. <laughs> I... You see, the laughter have this value. I should make only videos of laughter. Uh, and I wanted to make... Um, I wanted to do comedy here. Um, uh, instead of this serious, uh, painstaking uh, uh, videos. That you... <laughs> You get just bored <laughs> by by these videos. Who will who would ever listen to this old guy talking a lot a lot of bullshit? And <laughs> that's uh, that's a thing. Uh, but um, the value of life is laughter. That is, um, that is a good one. The value of life is laughter. Seeing or understanding your friends is a value. I heard my bestie was visiting her uh, lady friend. And the lady friend wanted her to stay one night more. What a beautiful, what a... Wow! That's how it should be. <clears throat> stay one, one night more. It's so nice. You are so nice to be together with. I will miss you when you go back home. <laughs> that's, <clears throat> that's, so, that's so nice. When, when you are missed... You can be bitter and bitter and sour, but when when you know that you are missed, you are even loved for the way and who you are. You are loved, and uh, whatever you do, you are forgiven. <laughs> you are forgiven. <laughs> you are forgiven because. They love you so much. They like you so much. Whatever you do, it's okay. It's you. So I excuse you all the way. So that's that's you, my friend. Do you have friends like that? Even even if you are wrong, even if you did something bad, they will easily forgive you because it is not your intention. They understand that well. So. That's the uh, value of life. And you can sleep well when you have a good conscience. I have a bad conscience. So I sleep very bad. <laughs> um, I don't think so. But my t task in, in my life <laughs> have always be, been how can I be relaxed? How can I be at peace? How can I find tranquility? Oh, how is this possible? When I see my friends and so on do what I do and they have a lot of energy to do what I do and uh, traveling all over the world and um, they are um, they are doing all sorts of activity. I have ad high admiration for them. I feel like a lazy maniac that needed to go to the ant in order to be wise. But... Uh, but <laughs> the, 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 the ant will not remind us of other things than to be wise. To be wise, what is that? Is it be aware or what can be of that relevance to be, a, to be wise? Go to the ant, see its path and be wise. So a lazy man, lazy man, the, the drive here is not, not to be unwise. It's uh, motivation to 
look to the ant in, in order to be wise. Because you can do all sorts of things. And in the end, the end of the day, as they say, it has no value. It's all void. Whatever you do, it's void. And when you have reached that kind of state of mind that nothing really matters, what I do is maybe more or less just for me, that's a kind of a hard thing to take. It's, uh, it takes a lot of... Uh, um, it takes a lot of courage to, to admit that uh, whatever I do really doesn't uh, matter in the long run. But to be wise is have this self-reflection. Uh, self I got three indicators just the last, last uh, day. And recently I heard that take your time. Take your time and do it when you, when you are ready. And um, three of those, uh, take it easy. Pole pole. I think that is much needed to, to remind, r remind ourselves in this stressful, hard world that I need my time. I need shalom. I need God to fill that void, that void of nothingness and uh, that maybe drive us crazy. What drives you crazy? I think it is this nothingness that uh, you can't stop worrying about it. But this nothingness is the indication of use your time to observe the little insignificant ant. You have this ant world. It's so large that if you remove only one, they wouldn't mind. But it is all the small details in this world that really matters. That is the real matter. And <clears throat> maybe the the fact that you are you, the way you are, is uh, what you need to find peace of mind. The harmonious way of being you. I think that is what matters the most. So we can say, today I take it pole pole. I take it uh, slowly. I take it easy. Because my soul isn't at rest. The soul will be an indicator. That is uh, the pure fact. The soul of, of ours is the indicator if you are at peace with yourself or struggling. A rich man will worry. So don't be rich. Take away all what you have in order to find out what is left. I think that is uh, the speech of today. Pulla pulla. Take it easy. And uh, let us go around, tell, tell each other. It doesn't, you don't need to stress it. Don't hur uh, hurry. We have a saying in Swahili, Araka, Araka, Aina, Baraka. That is Asverk um, <clears throat> Elastverk, your uh, rush have no blessing. If you if you are rushing it, it will not be a blessing, it will be a devastating result. It will harm you in the end. So Haraka Aina Baraka. There is no blessing in stressing. Okay. I wish you all the best and have shalom.